We are talking about painting yeah, now. I are. saw Taylor's picture. It was great. You have a picture on Facebook yes. on it. So that is awesome. That is great. Mm -hmm. A great day to stay indoors and mm -hmm. do something relaxing. Like I'm going gonna, gonna to show you all on my Facebook page, um, my professional one, to show you what I did. But yeah, like Suzanne said, it's a great day to just go out there or just stay inside and paint. I don't know, it's just very therapeutic for me. Um, Y'all all probably have different things. Let me know if you do. Reading is probably one of them. Probably just drinking coffee and watching us can be therapeutic as well. <laughs> well, right now, the sun is shining there in the DUB so brightly, and people are on their way to do what they have to do on the Sunday morning, whether that's work, church, or just seeing other friends. Right now in Dublin, we are warming up very nicely and quickly, 32 degrees now there in uh, Lawrence County. So it's a very nice day with very calm winds. Now, overall, we are underneath the dominance of a high pressure system that's taking control of the entire southeast. So everybody is enjoying the sunshine we're enjoying. But because we're sitting just south of this high pressure system, it's bringing some cold air here in Jamaican. So right now, temperatures into central Georgia are cold to say the least 22 now in Macon 29 in Sandersville 25 in Gordon probably somewhere in the 20 the upper 20s there in Milledgeville and Sparta 25 in Forsyth 28 in Thomaston 28 in Butler Montezuma and Unadilla so overall very very cold we're at or below freezing around the area we do have areas of patchy freezing fog which is this fog that is around when we are under temperatures that are under 32 degrees. So just be careful of any places that might see fog, but otherwise everybody is pretty good for today. We're going to stay dry and pretty clear for your Sunday. So for this afternoon, we're going to rise into the low 50s across the area. So a little bit warmer than we were yesterday in the upper 40s, but still you're going to need that jacket for any activities this afternoon. Now heading into tonight, as we get behind that sunset, we're going to drop somewhere into the 30s and 40s across central Georgia, but staying clear and dry for that time as you head towards work tomorrow morning and school bundle up those kids because it's going to be a cold one and make sure you give yourself enough time to maybe wipe off the frost and the windshield temperatures will drop to the upper 20s and maybe be somewhere in the mid 30s by the time work starts now we're going to stay dry for today and tomorrow but then heading into tuesday is when we get our first round of rain chances for the next seven days that's because we have a low pressure system that's going to start riding the gulf of mexico coast that's really going to bring the rain chance really for our southern counties everybody else should stay dry through that time and we're going to be sunny and dry on Wednesday as well. And we're going to actually have a small warming trend thanks to that low pressure system because it's going to swell some Gulf moisture, Gulf moisture into the area. So temperatures on Wednesday will actually be pretty much the warmest day of the week, somewhere in the upper 50s. We're going to drop back down into the low 50s by the time we head towards Friday. That's because we're going to have a cold front sweeping through the area. Thankfully, all the winter weather does stay away, but and really the rain chances do as well. As we head towards Saturday, that's where we feel the cold in packs and it'll be super dry. So make sure you pack the chapstick as you head to anything you're doing on Saturday or Sunday. Temperatures in the 50s for the rest of the week until we hit Saturday again. At least it'll be sunny, but temperatures drop back into the 40s.